Okay, we're just on the website. We're downloading two files right now. Uh, we're downloading the server and we're also downloading desktop. Here's the desktop version. Here, you're gonna download with this green button. Go over to the server and you're gonna download server 2204 and wait till the download is complete. All right, so once you have your uh, ISO downloaded, the uh, uh, Ubuntu server and Ubuntu um, regular uh, operating system, uh, we're going to start a new one. Uh, we're going to go others. And I downloaded the 22. And the one I downloaded was the 22.04 live server. Put that in. It's going to pick up. Skip unintended. Name will be called Linux server. Hit next. Give it some RAM, give it some CPU. Make sure we can do the fast installation on it. I'm going to give it 200, not 2000, but 200 gigabytes of storage. I'm going to hit finish. It's going to open up the server. We're going to go to setting as always. Uh, make sure we enable about direction. That looks good system processor is good network and we're going to be on that network and everything should be good go ahead and get it started and we're going to install the server so once you get it up uh, we're going to install the monthly server uh, Make sure you use your keyboard. We'll close the notification. Okay. Coming back in here, uh, use your keyboard. We're going to do English. Layout English, very in English. I'm gonna hit done. You want the server? Okay. Not minimize the distance. The car no drivers. And we're just gonna hit done on Ubuntu server. So our network uh, and our IP address for the NAT network. Go ahead, next, done. We don't need a proxy. And if you use alternative mirror, okay. Test, we can packets. Hit done. Continue without updating. Update with new installer. Uh, let's do with new uh, update with new installer. And it's going to go out and get the most uh, up-to-date packages. Alright, we're going to use the entire disk on VirtualBox, which is 200. Which is the 200 um, gigabytes, as you can see up here. 200 gigabytes. Uh, we're not going to encrypt this. And not send the password, so we're going to hit next. Okay, it's breaking down the volume and it's going to create the boot file. Uh, user device, uh, okay, it's going to have 197 and 99 gigs mounted there. Local, okay, I'm going to hit done. Installation process, and we're going to hit continue and name. The name could be a name we can use org go all org and the service name actually the name would be or organization server name would be org we don't username would be 
org and we can choose a password that you will remember and we'll hit done we can enable the pro or we can, we, uh, yeah we can enable the pro or you can skip it either way enter the code actually we're gonna hit back we're not we're gonna skip it for now Hit continue. Uh, we won't install OpenSSH until a later. Hit done. Um, these are some environments that we can choose, like PowerShell, AWS. Uh, we're just going to skip all those. And it's going to install. Uh, we only want to make sure we have the server up and running later when we need to install the certain packages then we will install those but at this point let's just keep with the basic minimum and we can open those later okay so finally finish uh, downloading and we're going to reboot it now Hit enter, remove the, the ISO, let it boot up. Okay. Login will be org and your password from working directory. Go list cd into the home file list. Uh, we can actually cd to root and I'm at the home. Uh, actually cd to dash which is root there you go and now we have the uh, Linux server and we're just gonna shut down P now oops now so we're shutting down the server so that's it for the server